I took an opportunity, my neighbor and I, to start a podcast about a show that we love together called The Walking Dead. And within six episodes, we started getting real fans listening. And we, we had our first guest on the show. And it was a direct, the main director from, from the series. And then wow. we had actors or celebrities or like key crew people on the podcast every episode for like 25 episodes. And we became like the number two podcast for television and news on Apple. Uh, on iTunes at the time. Holy smokes. That's insane. dude. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. It was a great ride. And I learned a ton about connecting and, and building community and uh, connecting with people. And, and uh, at the same time, simultaneously, I started another podcast for our network marketing business uh, for our um, essential oils, doTERRA uh, business that we had that my wife found a lot of healing from. So we sure. built that built that together. And that was a real passive income stream, but it ended up being a real, we built a large team. We have about six, 7,000 customers in our, um, in our organization now. So, um, and that's all very passive now. I yeah. don't do a lot to build that, but those two things combined with my wife's songwriting and I, I try, I don't know, you've done a lot with your wife. I feel a lot of kinship with you, Shane, even though we don't know each other that well, Sure. but in everything I've done, I've really always tried to partner with Chrissy. Yeah. Um, I, I find that can be me and Jocelyn were actually, we we're sitting out on the balcony last night, um, talking about this, like, you know, Jocelyn and I, we started out as school teachers. Like she was a librarian. I was a history teacher. We worked in different schools, but we were both kind of in the same industry. So we could kind of speak the same language at night. Like you had the same problems, administrators, parents, whatever kids. Yeah. And, um, you know, so that was, so we were always kind of doing the same thing there. And then we started our business together and we were kind of doing everything together. We had two different websites when we started, but then flip lifestyle just pushed where now Shane and Jocelyn are the brand basically. Mm -hmm. And, uh, it's weird. Like when you push yourselves together like that, it can, you want everything to be together, but at the mm -hmm. same time, it can blur boundaries between your personal life and your business life so much that it becomes this weird thing to navigate, not a bad thing to navigate, just a weird thing to navigate because you go straight from uh, the boardroom to the bedroom, right? Like, it's like, <laughs> you're, you know what I'm saying? It's like, you're, you're dealing with all these heavy business things that might be a lot of money at stake, a lot of partnerships at stake, and you and your wife have to come to an agreement, mm -hmm. right, on that, which is never easy. No. And it, then at the same time, your kid gets out of hand and you're like, well, how do we punish this? How do we reward this? How do we deal with this? That has differences of opinion. And then you've got other things like your normal personal life, how you, who, what contract are you going to hire? Then you've got your relationship. Right. So like there is this weird thing. It's a, it's a blessing and a yin yang of a curse a little bit. She's not an entrepreneur by nature, but she is a creative mm. workhorse. Yeah. And um, she, she knows how to work hard. Farm girl grew up in Michigan on the farm. Um, and I also work really hard, but I'm much more on the technology side, the online marketing space. So we, we work together in that way very yeah. well in that I kind of stay in my lane. She stays in her lane. That's the key, man. Yeah. That's the key working with your spouse, dude. You got to yeah. do that. You know, like yeah. we've, we about two years ago, maybe a year ago, maybe two years ago, I kind of got this feeling like, you know, I was doing more CEO stuff, but I wasn't really liking it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Jocelyn was definitely doing the COO stuff, operations, making everything work. But I was still, but we both kind of were there was enough crossover where conflict was happening. Mm -hmm. And I, I realized like, a, you know, I wrote down on a piece of paper on a mastermind trip. I was like, what makes us money? Right. Yep. And you know, the first thing I wrote down is when I talk, we make money. Like when mm -hmm. I podcast, when I speak, when I do webinars, when I write emails, like when I talk, we make money. Mm -hmm. um, and the second thing I wrote down was when I stay out of Jocelyn's way, we make money. <laughs> when I get involved in anything on the back end of the business, ah. it's usually a dumpster fire. It's just a big, just, just giant spaghetti wall on the wall mess. Cause I'm just, my brain does not work in a linear path. It does not work in systems. Right. Mm -hmm. And I find this with couples. There's all, it, it doesn't matter if it's the guy or the girl, but one is the creative yeah. and the vision. And one is the executor can get things done. And man, people always ask me like, how do you work with your spouse? You stay out of each other's way. I am doubling and tripling and quadrupling down on recommending people become podcasters. I used to kind of be like, 
hey, you can be a blogger, you can be a YouTuber or whatever. But like the more I see the fruit of podcasting in my life, yeah, uh, the more I realize that everybody needs to be talking into one of these microphones every single day, man. Absolutely. Absolutely.